well today I've had some quiet time and I finally decided I was going to solder the BMS onto the big uh, 48 volt battery we recovered out of one of the power stations. Now I bought this, it's a, what is it brand, a Q, QUCC um, BMS off of Aliexpress and this is a, a specific LIFE PO4 version so you can't switch it between the two. Uh, on its one you want you connect it via Bluetooth, which I uh, have realized that I can't show you because I haven't brought a phone with me. I'm gonna record me talking about it. Then I'm gonna record the screen on my phone of using the app and then I'll mush the two together in editing and it'll make sense. But it was pretty easy. For having zero instructions, it was pretty easy. When I bought it, the only instructions they sent me was the picture I'm about to put on screen and that is it shows you what connections to make all of the plugs. Basically the big B negative goes to the negative terminal of your battery and then you just follow the wiring diagram to connect to all the different points on the cells. And there was no connection order in, in the instructions so I just, uh, well, after unplugged the two things, soldered all the wires on the board, then soldered the big battery connection on and then plugged in the small one and then plugged in the big one and then that seems to have recognised all 16 cells. But uh, the most important bit is to get the cell order in the right order, if that makes sense. Let me show you what I mean. Let us set that to that. Can you see the multimeter? Yeah. No, not that one. Put that back. So. That goes under battery positive. No, it doesn't. It goes the other way. Your lies. Where is the negative thing? So I'll put that and I'll just stab that into the ground. And then I've already numbered them on here. So first cell would be obviously three and a bit volts. You're going three, six ish, like, and then nine. You get the idea. That's on the thing. Gone. 13, 16. And then like you'll probably be like 19 in a bit. Yeah, you get an idea. 46. Not on a thing. 49 and then the final 52. Now this uh, BMS wiring has, there's a connection that goes two battery negative and two battery positive at the ends of the BMS wires and then the other 16 go in between to do your cells and this one does up to 22 cells and it has successfully recognised all 16. As I say for the wiring it's just a bit of common sense and remembering that which way your plugs go upside down obviously if you pull them out to turn them around to test them you're looking at them backwards but apart from that it, um, it works. I don't really want this. Oh no, it's got a thingy base. But this would be obviously the output. Let's try not to touch all the things together. Uh, turn the thing off. All right, battery negative would be uh, that one. So that one goes to your battery positive is always battery positive. There's no connection, you know, big connection to the BMS for that. And then that would be the output of 52 volts. And via the Bluetooth interface, you can turn it off or down at least. Now, the only thing I haven't tried so far is charging it, which is connecting up the power supply, which is just slightly out of shot here. Let me just bring it up a bit. Uh, now, what ba what battery voltage do you charge a 52 volt or a 48 volt battery? Is it 52 volts? Let me just go and Google that for you. Right then, and it says 58 point something volts. So let's take our power supply, take the voltage up to 58, 59, 59 volts, I've no idea what the current set to, so I'm pretty sure it's something low. Right, and then you connect the positive to the positive and then the battery to the battery, so fingers crossed this works. Well, there we go. It's now charging at half half an amp, it would appear. Right, okay. Um, so I'm going to fire up the uh, 
app is the word I'm looking for, app to connect the Bluetooth. And then we're going to look at it and see what the cells are doing and how balanced or whatnot they are. Right, so I didn't have the current set high enough on the uh, power supply originally to actually show it charging. Right, now here it is actually charging. It says on the app 3.8 amps, that matches the 3.8 amps. I can see the power supply, 200 odd watts, yes. We can actually see now in the app that it is charging. And the battery voltage is going up, which is what we want. Obviously half an amp wasn't enough to uh, kick it into charging, or maybe the voltage wasn't high enough. I'm not fully sure which one happens first. And obviously now on history we can see the uh, current going in. That must have been me. That goes curves at the start when I tweaked it and turned it up a little bit, but that's what we want to see. It is charging. I don't suppose it'll get warm not charging it. Four amps. Still don't see the balance and the protection doing anything, but maybe they're not supposed to be on. As long as all those cells end up uh, at the same voltage, that's what we're looking for, is the uh, 16 cells being balanced and it being 100%. And then perhaps we can find some 4, 8 volt things to run. I don't know what. Either that or I get a, like a, not a transformer because it's DC, but you know what I mean, a, a, a power supply switch in power supply to switch 4, 8 volts down to 12, maybe something like that. That might be something to look at, and then we can use that battery for other applications. But yeah, the app's pretty much muchness. The parameters and basic information, I found out that if you log on online, and once you've scanned the barcode of the BMS, it then brings up all the specs for that said BMS. It just goes online to get them. And I don't know, rename mine, obviously, Big Black there, as you can see, because it's a big black battery pack. But yeah, there's not a lot of uh, to do in the app, apart from observe. And as long as it's doing what it's doing, and then I need to give it some 48 volt loads. I need to think of volt, think of loads. If you have any suggestions of loads, put them in the comments, and I'll uh, see what I can find to power from it. So as exciting as that app was, uh, apart from showing me the cell status, uh, that's about all it's really doing. Uh, where can I turn up the? Current. Oh yes. Okay. That's what's wrong. We can give this, I think we can give it five amps. I mean five amps is not a lot of yeah. Alright, so it's pegging out the voltage before it gets the current anyway. All right. We'll just give it four amps, that looks good. Uh what was I gonna say? I didn't show you my soldering because my soldering's not the best as it is, and I didn't need any further judgment on that, but literally just dot your wires onto your tabs and away you go. Uh, I wish my heavy connections had been a bit prettier but they'll do the thing and I just need to put a now thick positive wire on and put on an XT plug or something. I'm sure I've got some cut off one of the power stations lying about. If not I've got the backwards ones, don't buy these, um, buy the one, the other ones that go the other way with the weatherproof connections on them. These ones are backwards and I don't know why, the male's female and the they go the wrong way, like, I don't know. The panel mounts the wrong way around. It's just not a, it's not a great plug, that one. It's probably too small as well. I have seen in some of the forums when people are putting these on, or just, you know, battery packs on uh, e-bikes, they're not using the output from the BMS to run the bike, they're just having that as a separate thing straight off the battery and only using the BMS for charging. Is that good? Bad? Better? Worse? Uh, I suppose the advantage of using the BMS is it cuts out when the batteries get too low and you can't possibly, well, you can't damage the batteries from uh, under running them under voltage. So I am most likely to run it through itself. Uh, did I have any other questions? Yes, the only other question I had is, obviously this is the dead battery, well no, these are fine, the cells are fine. The dead battery from my uh, e-bike, which I have now taken this out of, and far as I can tell, it is a nine cell. There's one, two, three on that little one, and then the other six are on this other plug at the back, and that adds up to nine, so I need to find a nine uh, cell BMS 
for these are 36 volt batteries and they're all Samsung cells then I can make another pack that I can use for a 36 volt e-bike and have an add-on battery thing but that was just a little look at my playtime in the workshop today with my uh, BMS wiring the very first BMS I've ever done it wasn't that hard if I can do it sure as hell you can do it as well and let's say I'm going to hot glue the thermistors into the battery so I can monitor the temperature of the cells and then I just need to maybe find a nice box for it that would be nice but yeah that's us that was uh, just that a bit of a BMS wiring any comments questions anything like that please leave them down below I will try my very best to answer them and as always thanks for watching